what is financial growth, stability, and impact? What is financial growth, stability, and impact? Financial, financial growth, stability, and impact begin first with you being spiritually stable. You by yourself, you have to study the word and develop a sturdy word life for you to, for you to have impact, for you to grow. You, you have to have a stable life, stable study life, and a stable prior life. A strong spiritual life is one of the most important keys to have a lasting impact. If you want to last, you have to be spiritual. If you want to last, you have to be sturdy. You have to be sturdy in your word life because that's where you get the strength from. You have to be sturdy in your prior life because that's where you get the power from. If you don't have a spiritual life, you can forget about making impact. I'm going to repeat myself. I said, if you don't have a spiritual life, you can forget about making impact. And I'm going to ask everyone to please go ahead and type this in the chat box. Mama always let us know if there's anything that we need to remember. She said, type this in the chat box. So go ahead and type it. If you have impact on your mind, that he has called you for an assignment and you want to make impact, make sure you know this. Even write it in your journal. If you don't have a spiritual life, forget about it impact if you want to have a spirit if you want to make impact you must have a spiritual life meaning you must study the word you must pray and not just any pray consistent fervent prayer consistent fervent prayer not just reading the word but study the word daily that's the only way for you to have impact okay you have to develop spiritual muscles from your prayer life in order to make impact. Whenever you pray, that power is released impact. We see that in Daniel 6 and B. It shows us that Daniel prayed, what, three times per day. Three times per day he prayed. Not that our prayer life is limited to three times. It's not limited to three times. You can pray more. But he prayed three times a day. And if you look at his lifestyle, you will see that he always make impact. Always. There's never a time that he pray and he never make impact. There's never a time that he call out to daddy and daddy didn't answer him. His life is live a, he live a life that is very impactful. It's, it's, very, it's very obvious. You can see it. You don't need the glasses to see that. So now we're going to look at Joshua 1.7. Joshua 1.7 shows us that the only way to make impact is to be a doer of the word. You have to be a doer of the word. You have to be a doer of the word. He said, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instruction Moses has given to you. But in, in this sense, be careful to to obey all the instruction you get from the word. Be careful to obey all the instruction you, give, you, you get from your spiritual leader because that is speak true to us, through our spiritual leader. Do not deviate from them. Do not turn either to the left or to the right. Focus and do the word. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Just to paraphrase, then you will make impact in everything you do. Your success will result in you impacting others. All right, so now let's get down deeper to it. Now we're going to look at what is financial growth? What is this term, financial growth? Financial growth is the process of improving your kingdom finances and becoming more financially stable. Remember, I said, look at the word. There's some key words in there. It's a process of improving your kingdom finances 
and becoming more financially stable. You're becoming more anchored in your finances to the point of impacting others. But how do you grow in these finances? The only way to grow in your finances is to practice the covenant. There's no other way. You can't grow in your finances by praying and fasting. No, you grow in your finances by practicing the covenant. And the first thing you do, you have to be a tither. You a tither that he said it in his word. You have to be a tither. You have to be a giver and not just any giver. Be a consistent giver. Because remember, that he said there have to be seed time and harvest seed time and harvest not seed stop harvest or harvest stop seed no you have to be consistent is a cycle so for you to grow financially you have to be stable in in practicing the covenant right now it doesn't matter where you are in your finances it doesn't matter you cannot be too low where you can't grow you can grow by choice in your finances you can grow by choice and make an impact because that is what that is expect of us as kingdom citizens we are to make impact it's not hard to make impact as long as we're obedient to the word obedient to the covenant obedient to daddy and do what is expected of us we can make impact we can make impact all right we're talking about financial um, growth. Now, let's look at the life of Papa Abraham. The way he started was not the way he finished. He started life with daddy with nothing tangible to show, nothing. All he did, he got a word, he received the word and he believed the word. And that's in Genesis 12, 1 to 3. Papa Abraham began to grow financially and make impact. Why? He practiced the covenant. He doesn't just get a word and he just sits in the kingdom and just say, okay, everything. No, he practiced the covenant. He practiced giving. He practicing giving back thanksgiving, praying to daddy. Everywhere you, 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 you can see when you have a victory, everything, he build a, a, I need to remember this, a sacrifice. He always make a sacrifice for daddy. He always build, a, build an altar for daddy. He's practicing the covenant. He doesn't just take, he always give back all the praises and all the glory to daddy. And he make impact. And as for us, we are expected to do the same thing as kingdom citizen. I am aware that back in the days, they didn't use actual money, but his livestock, his silver, in, and his gold would be the equivalent of cash that we use now in modern, in modern days. The equivalent of growing in his, finance, in his finances. In, in Genesis 13, 2, it says, Abraham had become very wealthy. When I say very wealthy, very wealthy in livestock and silver and gold because what? He practiced the covenant. We can do the same thing too and, 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 and grow in our finances. It's easy. We can do the same thing and grow in our finances. Papa Abraham riches grew tremendously. And he made a lasting impression on his family and his generation, even though he's still making impact because we're using him as an example to follow. And we always, we can see as we go further, I'm going to talk about uh, um, a very well prominent man of God. We would say our modern for Abraham, you will see how he's making impact by practicing the covenant, by doing what daddy, daddy instruct him to do. And this can be for anyone. Daddy doesn't single out anyone. It's your obedience that count is all valuable. Oh, 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 do you take the word? Is it valuable to you? What does it mean to you? 
what does it mean to you? You cannot be anything in this world. You cannot make any impact without you being spiritual. And we're going to look at this wonderful man of God, our Papa, the way how he makes impact. You are going to see his life. But before we get to that, no, we're going to look at what is financial stability. Financial stability is having resources that is not affected by the world economic system. It cannot waver. It is not subject to inflation. It is not subject to inflation. It is subject and it is governed by the kingdom law. It is subject and it is governed by the law of heaven. That is financial stability. That's just one point. You will experience financial stability when you, now I'm going into how can you experience financial stability? You can experience financial stability when you master the growth stage. What is the growth stage? The growth stage is that stage when you learn to be stable in your spiritual life, meaning you're stable in the word, meaning your study time, your word time is not an option. Your study time and your word time is not an option. That's how you get to go from growth to being stable. You will experience financial stability when you become the lender and you're not the borrower, meaning that you're not looking to any other person for your resources. You have plenty. The Bible says you will lend to nations, but you do not have to borrow. That is financial stability. And that is what daddy expects us to have as kingdom citizens. Now, let's look at what is financial impact. What is financial impact? Financial impact is having more than enough money that is capable of efficiently and effectively allocate resources that is needed to establish the kingdom. I'm going to say it again. Financial impact is having more than enough money that you are capable of efficiently and effectively allocate resources that is needed to establish the kingdom. Meaning if there's a kingdom project, you don't have to feel, you don't have to take up offering. You can say, okay, over, I see we need, we need 10 churches in this neighborhood and you just do it with no pressure. You see over here, this ministry is suffering financially. Let me go in and help them with, 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 with my resources, with my finances. Let me go over here and help him. That is having financial impact. You're able to, you're capable of efficiently and effectively allocate resource to establish the kingdom. You don't have to fret. You don't have to worry. If you see a need in the kingdom, you can do it with ease. That is financial impact. Financial impact is you being able to secure in your finances through covenant practice to the point of affecting others. Financial impact is you being able to secure in your finances through covenant practice to the point of affecting others. Because you know you cannot say you're secure in your finances if you're not practicing the covenant. No, the covenant is like, that's like your insurance for your financial. It's, it's, it's spiritual laws that hold your finances into place. It doesn't matter what storm comes. It cannot shake your finances because that law is governed by the kingdom of heaven. When you, when, when you practice your, your, um, your covenant, when you do your covenant, your finances is secure. When you do your covenant, you become stable and you make impact. Okay, now we're going to look at another point again for, for what is financial impact. Financial impact 
is when your kingdom lifestyle influences others to have the same results in their life. Financial impact is when your kingdom lifestyle influences others to have the same results in their lives when you have mastered the growth and stability stage. Remember, it's a process you grow, you become stable, and then you make impact. So you cannot make impact unless you have mastered the growth stage and you have mastered the stability stage. Because you cannot make impact being shaky. One day you're giving your tithes, and the next day you're not giving your time. You cannot mark, you cannot make impact. That shows us that you have not grown. You have not grown. You're not stable. For you to become stable, you have to master. You have to master the growth and stability stage for you to make impact. Sorry. For you to make impact. You must master the growth and stability um, stage. You will experience impact. You will know when you're making impact because others see and they want to follow you. If you're making impact, you don't have to ask, am I making impact? No, you don't have to ask a question. It will be obvious. It will be so bright. Everyone will see it that this person is making impact and other people will want to follow you because they will see that what this person is doing, it is working. What this person is doing, it is working. I must follow this person as this person follow God. I must follow this person as this person practice the covenant. We cannot talk about financial growth, stability, an impact without mentioning our Papa Ayodi Po. We cannot talk about this topic without mentioning, mentioning him. Papa Ayodi Po is a perfect example of financial growth, stability, and impact. His life and ministry, it keeps growing at the speed of the Spirit, as because what? He he, he continually practiced the covenant. He, pra he, he continually practiced the covenant. He doesn't stop. He, he just keep going and going and going and going. Because you know that with, when you practice the covenant, there's no cap. There's no limit. I was listening to him one, I think it was yesterday. And he said, um, I think YouTube make a video of him say how oh, we worth how many millions or billion dollars. He said, how dare you to put a cap on me? He said, this is my net worth. Nobody knows my net worth. My net worth is valueless because he practiced the covenant and he know that in with this covenant, there is no limit, no limit, no limit. And his life is impacting others. In, in, in the year 2020 alone, when there was COVID and church, she's locking down, people are scared to go out. This is ministry alone, planted 10,000 churches. This is making impact. This is what you call impact. He has impacted so many individuals, so many ministries, so many sub-ministries has birthed out of his, him because what? Because of his lifestyle, because he, this is the covenant. Ministers even in the US, where can you see that only the covenant can have someone leave from the United States go to, to, to Canaan land or go to anywhere in the world to listen to another man of God. Because what? Because of impact. They see that what he's doing, it is working. It is working. That is what you call impact. When you are doing what you're doing and it's affecting other people in a positive way to the point of them traveling how many hours? I'm not even sure how many hours from the United States to go to Canaan land. 
Because of what? Because of impact. They see what is working in their is life and they want it. That is impact. That is impact. Papa Yudipo have lived a covenant life. He have lived a life of the covenant. He has helped so many, so many people move from adverse poverty to live in a life of prosperity. And not just live in prosperity, but growing in their prosperity, growing from zero to nothing, from the point of, 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 of only being able to sow one chair, one chair to the point of building church. Okay, I'm taking this assignment. I'm taking this assignment. I'm taking all the expense to pay for this church. Lose listen from moving from only being able to, 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 to afford one chair to the point of able to supply the finances to build a church. That is impact. That is impact, family. And this is not only for him, it's for any kingdom citizen who choose. You have to choose. You have to believe that this is available for you, family. You have to. Okay, I know I've said a lot, but let's get to the conclusion. Financial growth, stability, and impact begins with your spiritual life. I'm going to say this again, because if you don't have this, it, and I'm not going to say you, I'm going to say we, including me, Mama Scott. If you don't have this, financial growth, stability, and impact begins with my spiritual life. It begins with your spiritual life. For you to grow and become stable in your finances, you must have some capacity in the spirit. If you don't have any capacity in the spirit, you cannot become, you cannot grow financially. You have to have some capacity in the spirit because all manner of things are going to come against you and you have to be strong. You have to be firm in the spirit for you to grow financially. Next point, financial growth, stability, and impact is a choice, and it is available for every kingdom citizen. Please make up your mind and choose which way you're going to go. Please make up your mind. It's a choice. For anyone to grow, become stable, and make impact, they must be a doer of the word and follow instructions. Yes, for you to make impact, you must be a doer of the word and you must follow instruction to make impact. For you to grow, become stable and make impact in the kingdom, you must be a covenant practitioner. Meaning, when I say covenant practitioner, I mean by you doing your kingdom financial obligation. I know I said this before, meaning you're, you're, you're doing your tithes and offering. You're doing all kind of giving. The channels are not hidden from us as a family, especially in the Bill Nation. If mama don't teach us anything, I can say she teaches us about giving. Almost every day she teaches us about giving. So, it is not hidden. The keys are not hidden. The channels are not hidden for us as a family. We are aware of them. So now what we have to do is do them. Do them to see results. I, um, I, I'm going to say the grace is available here for you to do it. So you all receive the grace to do it in the name of Jesus. Receive this grace to do your part in the name of Jesus. So live, grow, become stable, make and make impact financially on purpose. In Jesus' name, amen.